morning, good afternoon, and evening, it's Tragic Life here. Uh, we just finished Mario, we've already beaten Mario 1, which came out in 95. Mario lost level, we never got that until much later. We beat Mario 2, which felt really crazy, it had nothing to do with Mario's at all, and just weirdness, and then it turned out it was a dream, so that makes a little bit of sense, I guess. So now we're going to go to the one that really changed the Mario games. And that's Mario 3, the one I know very, very well. Um, so go ahead and leave a comment, hit that like button, and um, go ahead and subscribe, talk to me, let's see what's up. Alright, oh, oh, I love this game. So there is a section, I'm going to show you where the secrets are, but I'm not going to get them. It makes sense, I think it makes sense. Okay, so I gotta learn how to play this on an Xbox controller, because that's what I'm using. Do, 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 do. This I'm probably gonna get copyrighted on, just heads up. Alright, so these blocks just duck. And eventually, you'll fall through, and you can hide behind bushes and stuff. Right, so. I'm rusty, it's gonna happen. Hi guys. There's a there's an whole area up there, but we're not really worried about that. Oh Mario! <gasps> I'm having bad luck. I'm not this bad. So no secret up there. It's mostly coins. There's no super secrets in this. Um, do I need to? I might need to. I'm not using a guide for this one, so I might change that for some of the later levels where there's a lot of craziness. And I do plan on doing every single world. Um, I'm trying to be quick. It's not really working. I remember skipping level 3 a lot, because level 3 was a pain in the butt. Or level 4. Level 3 has one of the biggest secrets in the level. We're going to skip Mr. No Good there. The boomerang, bro. Okay, so we're going to hit this guy. I don't know how I didn't get hit, but we'll take it. I didn't do any of these on Mario 1 or Lost World, but... <sighs> Those were not my games. Mario 2 was one of my favorites and I was never good at Mario 3 was my game. I remember putting this game 
I had on the original Nintendo putting on a pause and then leaving for an entire week and hoping that when I got back it would be still on the same level. All right, so the big secret here is you want to go through this one here. And then you want to come back here. And... Toot on this whistle will send you to a faraway land. There's three of these. I'm going to show you where... Yeah, I might as well show you all three. Because we can always come back and... Maybe, we'll see. Alright. I'm gonna tell you where the other one is. How about that? Alright, we got that. That's good. So, if you got three of those flutes, you could actually warp all the way to the end of the level and just tackle the end of the world. Okay, so. This was one of those levels we skipped as a kid. There's no point in beating it, there's no point in beating every world. I'm doing it because I can. I thought I was dead. Okay, so I got a tap, I forgot. Okay, so you want the, the feather in there the, in order to get the secret. Uh, oh, I almost lost all my memory. I'm not really sure what happened. So if you get this, you can't get it. So I'm not going to get it. I'm going to tell you where it is, and then we'll go from there. Um, the feather is a little bit better in some ways because you can kill these... These guys here. Actually, I'll show you. So you kill this guy. Can you not kill him? Oh. So you want to kill him. You want to knock him down. All right. So then you're gonna run, and you're gonna fly directly above us, up there, and then you're gonna come all the way around, and there's gonna be a chest there. But we're gonna go this way because I think this is a fun level. duck here. I think we have to duck here. Let's dance. Alright. So if you kill him, you can't get that Whistle, whatever it is, because the castle goes boom. All right. Oh, you made a mistake. Okay, first start with this. I used to hate this level as a kid too. I 
I am having some control issues, if you can't tell. Okay. Nothing too nasty, but still. end up being a short video because I'm not doing more than one world at a time, I can promise you that. promising that each world's going to be done this quick. I'm on a roll. Wow. I did pretty good for my first run of that. Cool. Now for the last one on this map. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. Please find the magic wand so we can change him back. Yeah, all right. These were so cool back in the day. These levels, oh, they were so challenging too. short one but we did i did do a lot um wasn't expecting it to be this good on this game so i thought maybe playing the other ones made me a little less rusty i don't know zero complaints i mean that's awesome i really thought it'd be a little more rusty oh thank heavens i'm back to my old self again thank you so much here is a letter from the princess Seeing a ghost, be careful. They will give chase if you turn away. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you, Princess Toadstool. That thing lets you fly through the entire level. So until next time, which will be soon, adios amigos.